So, all the right, how are we doing, mate? Not bad, yourself? I'm very good, thank good you. Stuff, good stuff. So, talk to us a little bit about yourself. So, let's get to know you a, bit, a little, little bit more, because you're obviously not from around here, you're from yeah. London, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. I'm from London, England, um, and I came over to America in 2017 uh, to play college football for St. Mary's. And, yeah, I've been here ever since. So, what's it like growing up in England? Both of us are from there. We know how much of a soccer mad country it is. Yeah. But the opportunities can be so hard yeah. over there. So what's it like growing up in England in a, in a soccer environment? It's, it's difficult because, like you say, it's soccer mad or football mad, whatever you want to call it, and every little kid, you know, all up and down the country wants to be a professional football player. So there's limited opportunities, so it's very difficult. Um, and that was kind of my decision-making when I, when I decided to come over to America. I thought, you know, open some new doors maybe and, and try my hand somewhere else instead of staying in England, you know, just see see what I can do elsewhere. So is that what brought you over to America essentially? The opportunities you wanted to get more of a platform for yourself in yeah. America, is that why you Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, it does help that, you know, you've got the education side of things. Um, I think it's a lot easier to go to a university in America compared to back in England. So that is also, is also a big factor, but I think football is definitely the main, the main reason. So growing up, what were who were your soccer stars? Who who did you look up to? Messi and Ronaldo. Messi and Ronaldo. Yeah, no one else really. I, th I think there's always this big Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo, Messi debate, but for me, Messi's, Messi's the best. Case, yeah. Messi puts them ahead. Yeah. Where does Ronaldo get ranked? Um, not too far behind, I guess. No, not too far behind. I mean, I prefer him to Cristiano Ronaldo personally, the way he plays. But I mean, you can't argue with his with Ronaldo's stats. So, he's, I'd say he's top five though. So this must be where your flip flop comes from. Right? Yeah. So where every you must try that at least twice a game. Yeah, I try it all the time. I mean, I, I used to like as a little kid, everyone did it, but like I used to watch when I did highlights and stuff like that, and just be mesmerised with what he could do and just try and copy it all the time. Yeah. And I couldn't do it for a long time. It took me a while to perfect it, but I feel like I'm getting there slowly but surely. Do you remember what your dad called the flip flop? Yeah. Yeah. The flip -flop. Call it flip flop. <laughs> Yeah, that was a that was a bad. As one of them that <laughs> worked, so we called it a flip flop. Yeah, that was a bad entrance, we've there, but hopefully that doesn't happen again. So you said you're at Saint Mary's University. Yeah. How's that been so far? So you've, you've been over just over two years now, is it? Yeah. Uh, oh no, almost two years. I came August two thousand seventeen. Um, it's, it's really good. I do like it. It's it's quite a small school, but um, you know the lads are great, and it's, like I said, it's just a new experience from back home. You know, it's a um, new culture stuff like that hot weather compared to back home where it's just miserable yeah so you know it's a, it's a, it's a nice change and um, as san antonio is a city i, I really like so. Mm -hmm. yeah so how we ended up at club christy fc then what why have you came to this club um so my coach kind of said that it was an avenue that i should go down for the summer um a few lads on my team played for them last year so obviously the coach kind of knew my coach i guess and knew a few of my players so uh, he came down, I think, to watch a couple of games and, and got in touch with me and then kind of just went from there, really. We, got, we stayed in touch and sent him some game film and luckily he gave me the opportunity to sign for Corpus. Yeah. So after college, we, you've obviously got a career in America and England now, yeah. essentially. Where do you see yourself at? What level do you see yourself when you finish college? Football-wise? Football-wise. Um, I would like to say, I mean, every, everyone wants to say they, they can go pro and stuff like that. I'd like to, that is my aim, obviously. Um, if that doesn't happen, I'd like to say that I'd still stay in America and, and maybe go down the coaching route, and maybe coaching at university and stuff like that. But I definitely, I'm not, I'm not giving up on going pro yet, do you know what I mean? I'm just going to keep on put, doing everything I can to do to, to make that happen. And, and yeah, we'll see what happens. So after the, uh, the, after the Mississippi game, I was on 6-3, you got a goal and was it three assists, wasn't yeah, it? Three assists. Uh, well, you have that debate with, between you and Arthur, don't you? Who's, yeah. uh, who's had the what? <laughs> who got the assist? But we were speaking to Sebastian after the game, and he said how he's never coached a player like you before. How important is Sebastian for your progression and for Corpus Christi? Massive, massive. Um, I think he kind of gives me a, a freedom on the pitch, which um, kind of allows me to, to do what I can do, which I like. So in that sense, I think it's, it's massively beneficial to me. and and. Just to the rest of the lads as well, you know, he's really, he's very positive. You saw the other day, he kind of takes responsibility when it doesn't go right, and he, you know, gives us credit when it does go right. So he's a very selfless manager. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's massively important to the rest of the team. So the philosophy he's trying to <coughs> is, is like tick attacker based, yeah. isn't it? Um, 
Do you see that helping you progress as a player? The uh, tick attack attack move? Yeah, massively. I, I mean, my game's not very. I'm not, I'm not the fastest, I'm not the strongest, you know, so the game is. My game is based when it's the balls at my feet, kind of thing. I'm not. That, they're my strong. Ronaldo in the West. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the style he's implemented definitely helps me. I think it helps the majority of the team as well, you know. We've got a lot of skillful players on our team and players that are very good with the ball at their feet. So I think overall it helps us a lot. So you've got four goals, four assists. Yeah. That in terms of involvement in goals, you are involved in more than anybody in the mid south division. You're not the top goal scorer anymore, so no. I'm from Mississippi doesn't yeah. watch that. So four goals, four assists. Can you get the player of the division for this division, do you think? I mean I hope so. Obviously uh, that's a nice individual award to get, but um, I think first things first is we need to win the conference, and if not, we need to definitely, uh, you know, make sure that we get to playoffs. Because I think you can win all the awards in the world, and if your team's not going anywhere, then that's not it's not really important. So yeah, I think the team the team comes first, and then if I can get those awards as well, then it's it's nice to have. You know? Well, that's another thing I was going to touch on is the way it works in in these conferences is we can potentially get the players so we finish second depending on how many points we get. Mm -hmm. So how important is the Texas game? Let's look ahead to, to the Texas game now. Yeah. How important is it that we get the victory for that game? Yeah, it's, it's massively important. You know, there's we've had a few very good results. We've been scoring a lot of goals recently, but I think we can't overlook anyone. We have to take each game as it comes. And I think that's what coach is trying to say to us in, in, in practice, is don't overlook any games. You take each game as it comes. And as long as we can get, I think as long as we can get the result, then the confidence will be back and stuff like that. We can keep moving forward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we always finish these interviews with some quick fire questions. Yeah. This one's pretty easy for you. Football or soccer? Football. Football, then easy. Yeah. MLS or Premier League? Premier League. Premier League. Yeah. You don't have a team, do you? Uh, I don't have a team, but I prefer to watch. And, Chelsea. And, yeah, I prefer to watch and play in the Premier yeah. League. So. Tea or coffee? Really like both. <laughs> so uh, tea, yeah. tea probably I'd say. Netflix or nightclub? Nightclub. Nightclub. <laughs> so you and Nick are on the nightclub yeah. and everyone else is sad. Uh, <laughs> okay. Would you prefer to win seven three or three now? Seven three. Seven yeah. three. Yeah. Is the clean sheet not important though? Or do you just not care being a striker? I mean I, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care being being a player that like likes to get the stats up. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Absolutely fair enough. London or Texas? Um, London. London. Just. What? Just about Pips? It? Just because it's home? Just because it's home, yeah. But I mean, the, the thing I like about Texas is like, it's new and like, yeah. You know what I mean? I've, been in, I've lived in London for 18 years, so. It gets a bit boring. It gets a bit boring after a while, mm -hmm. yeah. Overhead kick or a well worked team goal? Overhead kick. Overhead kick. <laughs> yeah. In the 7 3, you're going to score an overhead yeah, kick. Hopefully. Finally, to win the Champions League or the World Cup? Oh, World Cup, definitely. Win the World Cup with England? I was back, I was back playing the last summer for the World Cup. How oh, was you? The vibes. Like, it was incredible. incredible. It was so unbelievable. If I could just get myself on the pitch to score a winning goal in the World Cup final, <laughs> it would be insane. Yeah, incredible. Oliver, thank you very much. Thank you.